How do you make life more fun? I've been snowboarding for 16 years now, and I thought going free riding with some of the best riders in the world was such a better experience than watching people compete in slalom or half pipe. There's nothing in the game that we do that's impossible, but there's a lot of stuff that we do that's very unlikely. Last year, we, I think we played it pretty safe with a lot of them. This year, we've pushed quite a few of them. To and that's why we're in this business, is to see this stuff come to life and, and start to work. Coming and doing the sequel is, is an opportunity to go back and get some of those things where, that were maybe secondary objectives and pushing the boundaries a little bit further. There is a lot of the new Uber tricks where people release their board and flip it around and do this and that and stick it back on. Well, people aren't doing that yet, but someday people will be. This character's got an inline skating influence, so she's doing what's called a soul grind, which uh, I think this is right, Klaus, you'll have to correct me, but it's got the, uh, the rear leg. If she was wearing skates, she'd be riding the flat of the blade on the rail, and the front leg, front foot is across the rail. We're cheating physics a lot with the, the board as if it weighs more or it's more solid or substantial than it is. So when she gets up initially, you want her to to backflip this way. Yeah, or just some way to get some elevation to get displaced backwards. So now comes the tedious part where we actually have to make this look good. But it's fun. But a lot of fun, yeah, that's what we love to do. <laughs> there were two schools. One was the people who played it and played it as a racing game. And that was primarily how we designed it. It was meant to be a racing game where you needed to do tricks. And we thought, let's go back and really blow up the trick aspects of the game. So for the Uber tricks, we took our inspirations from uh, freestyle supercross, skateboarding, BMX, pretty much every sport out there that people get air and do tricks. There are some shared tricks, and there are also some that are specific to the character. Uh, they're really, really over the top ones um, that aren't really based in any kind of reality. They'll be uh, specific only to a certain characters. Yeah, so these proportions here, uh, the legs, the arms, the spine, everything is identical across all of the different characters. The difference is the geometry that's wrapped around it for each character. Luther can, if we lift his legs up, get his guts actually quite involved with his legs, which makes sense if he's got a large, a large gut. All the models start off in basically this pose here. You have to take this, which has nothing on it, do all your tweaking and animating, and eventually you end up with you know, someone who's actually physically moving around. A favorite trick? It's like a break dance move uh, for JP. The younger audience seems to be way more into doing tricks. The first thing they do when they get on a course in a game, they look for the first thing they can jump off. Because I think it's a fantasy. In their real life, when they're snowboarding, you know, they see a big 10-foot kicker in the terrain park, and you know, what they really do is they look at it and go, oh man, I wish I could go off that at 30 miles an hour, but this allows them the ability to do that. Everything we're doing now is, is, is either improving the game, adding to the experience, or most importantly, giving people new experiences they've never had before.